Hey guys, so it's your Blazer Gaming, and I'm back with a Battlefield 1 video, something I feel like I haven't done in forever. And uh, sadly, this isn't a news video or something about new DLC. Uh, we're going to be getting some gameplay of that on June 10th at EA Play, so I'll be sure to cover that, so don't forget to subscribe down below for that as well. Um, and also, don't forget to turn notifications on. I hate to be the guy to ask that, but uh, a lot of people seem to be asking that lately. And if you do, then you know, what the fuck am I doing? I'm, I just, just ignore what I just fucking said. I'm not going to be one of those guys. Ignore what I just fucking said. Anyway, we're getting back to some Battlefield 1 gameplay, a little quick scoping with the label. Most of this is sniper gameplay, and obviously by the title, I'm just going to be talking about what I love about Battlefield 1. Um, this isn't my most played Battlefield game. Honestly, this is, between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, this is my least played Battlefield game by a mile. Um, it's already March, this game came out in the fall, so it's been out for like around, oh my gosh, like seven months. And, um... At this point in Hardline, I think I already had like 300 hours, and uh, I was freaking grinding both Hardline and Battlefield 4 a crap ton, and this game for some reason just hasn't stuck with me. But, oh okay, yeah, well that's partially because of the weapons in the game, I really don't like the fact that you don't have Coyote Sights, Cobra Sights, stuff like that. Um, I don't like the lack of the competitive nature within the game, and I also don't like how they take sort of the power away from the individual in favor of teamwork. Because a lot of the time when you get stuck with a garbage team, it's really frustrating to have to rely on them. Or in Hardline and Battlefield 4, you could pretty much be a one-man army and then take out an entire enemy team on your own. But that's besides the point, because I just want to talk about what I do really love about this game. Uh, stuff that honestly is what makes me come back to the game when I'm bored and stuff. And uh, if it wasn't for these things, I probably would have given up on- well, I wouldn't have given up on the game, because I know you guys like to see some Battlefield 1 gameplay, and I like to uh, give you guys some content that you like to watch. But uh, First off, we're going to start with a pretty obvious one, but just the fact that they make each kill so satisfying. Uh, between the sound of the kill, um, just the amount of time it takes to get a kill, and the red hit marker, um, Battlefield 1 just figured out a way to make each kill satisfying for the player. And um, while they did basically nerf the individual in this game by having a slower time to kill, the fact that each kill is just so much more rewarding somewhat makes up for that. Because to get the same amount of a rewarding feeling in Battlefield uh, Hardline, I'd have to go on a pretty long kill streak. But in Battlefield 4, I can get one kill with that sniper, and it just feels so nice. Um, the game is super well polished also, I mean all the reloads and everything in the game just looks so crispy, so nice. I know a lot of this stuff is going to be very subjective and just somewhat vague, but these are just things that I'm like, when I play the game, I'm like, I admire these kind of attributes within the game. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just so cool. When I get a nice sniper feed, it's like, oh, it's just so rewarding to go on streaks in this game. Um, something else I like is the somewhat like simplicity within the game now I know that there are um, a lot of overpowered weapons in the game but I feel like you can run around with pretty much any gun and do decent as long as you have uh, some good strategy I mean I when the game came out I wasn't really in the meta right away I was using any gun but I was still doing pretty well in the game and still uh, scoring pretty high despite not using the most overpowered gun whereas in Battlefield 4 you like AK dominate whereas like other guns would just get destroyed and I know that is true in this game to an extent with the automatico but to the fact that they made it so SMGs are pretty much nerfed at medium range is very useful uh, that kind of plays into the addition that each class has its own distinct role uh, the snipers are going to be most effective at long range um, the LMGs are going to be very good at suppressing the enemy something that in previous battlefield games wasn't very useful but the addition of the uh, Pretty much default bipod on every single LMG helped with that a lot. The assault class is going to dominate up close and the mags are going to be good at medium to long range. And that each class has its own defined role. Uh, not everyone can run the medic class and be the best. You're going to want to be able to have a mix of each class in order to do well in a game. Um, another thing that I like about this game overall is the game modes, um, especially operations. Operations is just so fun to play by far the best addition to the Battlefield franchise of a game mode. I really am not a huge proponent of the other uh, game modes, and I really don't like how they only added one new game mode, but Operations, I mean, they added War Pigeons, um, but for example, Battlefield Hardline added Heist, Blood Money, and Hotwire, and those were arguably the three best game modes in the game, whereas War Pigeons is pretty uh, questionable as far as the rankings go in the game modes. but. Operations is just super awesome, and I like how they continued it with the DLC. 
Um, I also like some of the free content they've been bringing, uh, such as the level 10 weapons and stuff like that, um, as well as the uh, giant shadow map. But uh, the free content isn't nearly to the level that it was in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, which is disappointing. Tell me what you guys think brings you back to Battlefield 1. I know this was a short video, uh, but it kind of speaks to how much I do like this game. Uh, it's not the best game in my opinion as far as the Battlefield franchise goes, but it still has some very rewarding attributes that does make it awesome to play at times. Um, and especially if you get a squad of friends going, that's really when I enjoy myself most on this game. Is when I'm playing with friends, pushing the objective, and really the emphasis on winning just elevates to a whole nother level. Um, it's really awesome, and I honestly... Hardline, I didn't really play with friends too much. I played with a lot of subscribers, but Hardline, I just like getting involved in the community. It felt like the community was a lot more close-knit and vibrant in that game, whereas I feel like the YouTubers um, do cover this game, but they don't get really immersed in it like they did in Battlefield 4. Um, Battlefield 1 has some thinking to do about how they're going to retain players for the next year and a half until we get the next Battlefield game. Because it's going to be pretty hard, and who knows, maybe their next Battlefront game will just completely replace this. But I'd really like to see a ba this Battlefield game last, like Battlefield 4 did. Battlefield 4 has half the players that this game has daily. Which is kind of ridiculous that a game that's three and a half years old now can hold players <coughs> half as well as a game that's only like eight months old. Kind of sad, but uh, we'll see how Battlefield 1 does in the future. It could get revived, they could have some huge updates that could make it a lot better. But I think ultimately what's going to hold it back is its lack of weapons and customization and the premium pay block that's in the game. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. I'm going to be dropping a pretty huge Hardline announcement pretty soon. I'm going to be maybe doing a montage challenge for Hardline. Ooh, that'd be pretty interesting. But uh, don't forget to stay tuned for that. Drop a like down below, turn notifications on, and subscribe. But that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.